Exactly. exactly. That's why. What the heck is a rounded binary for? So yeah, it's such a <laughs> legit. <laughs> And put a dollar in your card so I can go buy some chips. For for war. Alright, this example hasn't come out yet. We're still waiting on the example. Right, we need to do this. Binary. We need to do We only have two hours That's to do so this. Guys, we only did this in two hours. <laughs> cut, <laughs> cut to me being super tired on the floor <laughs> after we're done recording. Oh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> Rounded binary. Okay. <laughs> Do it freaking. <laughs> like pokes the crap out of my ring. Okay, I didn't mean to hurt you. Okay, I didn't mean to hurt you. Okay, I didn't mean to hurt you. Binary forms. Simple and rounded binary. It's usually when a piece has two related sections. So usually you'll go through the first key, the first part. Then you'll go to the second part, and then you'll repeat back to the first part, and you'll see how how um, they are related to related. Diego, do you want to come up and explain the rest? They may be completely similar, or they just might not be similar at all. Entirely different. I don't know. It depends on the composer, it depends on the age, it depends on. <laughs> it also depends on, you know, the mood for that day. What if the composer was like, like, what if it was a rainy day? <laughs> they are either going to be entirely similar or just entirely different. What I'm saying is, it could be anything. Anything. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Diego, you want the next one? different that means we have a simple form which means there's a section A and there's a section B and they are not similar. B section can end on a different pitch or even an entirely new key altogether depending on the weather. So here's an example of simple binary form. Here we have an example of a simple binary form where we have this nice melody that continues the A section and then it repeats back the A section. Voila! And as it finishes, boom! It starts the B section. This nice rude B section. It keeps on going, and then bam! As it stops, it repeats the B section again. And as it continues, continues, it stops. And thus, we have a simple binary form. And as you can see here, both the A and B end on different chords, thus making it different binary. Now, back to you, Chelly. Thank you, Ian. All right, we got one more left. Diego, you got it? What are we gonna do? 
I'm gonna go get him. He's our editor after all. This project. You know what? I think I know where he might be. Shelly and I need you. For what? It's time. Leanne, Shelly, and I, uh, we're looking for you. We gotta do the video, man. I I'm sorry, guys. It's just that Victor was kind of my partner for all the previous video projects that I did, and it was always me and him, but then he sadly failed music theory, too, and it, it just doesn't feel right to do it without him. I, I, I don't think I can. I'm sorry. Actually, that's what we wanted to talk to you about. Victor? It's from... Theory two. Finally, you have rounded binary form, which is where uh, a full part of the opening in the A section returns in the B section, and then in the end you go back and play it, but all in the original key. So to recap, binary form, when a piece has two, <laughs> two related sections, they usually repeat. The two parts may be similar or entirely different. If A and B are different, then you have simple form. And if they're similar, they're rounded, not straight. We should look straight. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's it. Wait, so what are you doing for your Theory 4 video? Uh... He's so bad at drawing anything. He he excluded the L and the E from the circle. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs>